Hi, welcome along to another video. There's good news out of Sweden regarding the Scopex experiment. We'll get into that in a bit, but we're going to rewind on that story a little bit just to cover the Bill Gates thing that's been going around for the last few weeks. So in the International Business Times, is Bill Gates financially backing efforts to dim the sun's rays to fight global warming? And through January that progressed where Bill Gates went on mainstream media news channels and explained the conspiracy, let's call it that. Over the last week there have been reports claiming that Bill Gates is backing an experimental plan by Harvard scientists to cool down the earth by dimming the sun's light in a bid to combat global warming, citing Reuters, etc. However, such assertions or implications are misleading in several regards. While it is true that Gates has financially backed research programs that includes theoretical studies into the feasibility of solar radiation management and Scopex is among those projects, it is a mischaracterization to suggest that Scopex plans to test this form of geoengineering as a tool and its main objective is climate intervention or that Scopex itself could have implications on the global climate system. The objective of the Scopex project is not to dim the sun's rays, but to release a small proportion of calcium carbonate into the wake of a propeller-driven balloon flying 12 miles above the Arctic, and create cloud that will help gather data, which, among other things, will allow computer models to analyse the potential risks of actual geoengineering. Moreover, this experiment is in no way capable of altering the global climate system. So we've touched on this many times in these reports. There are significant technical challenges in developing it as an operational vehicle independent of challenges of the actual solar geoengineering experiment. We therefore need to test the new platform and concept of operations before conducting the science flight. This platform will not carry systems for releasing particles. So this is, they're testing the new platform and concept of operations before conducting the science flight. So this experiment will not carry systems for releasing particles. If the concept of operations works, the next science experiment will carry systems for releasing particles. It's the next step. So all the denial, they're telling the truth, but they're talking about this current one that's based in June 2021. They're not talking about what's happening afterwards, they're just talking about this one. So back over to Sweden and the Scopex experiment. It's worth noting that next to the headline that you see, the age of extinction, geoengineering, that's the title of the series this article is in. You can look into the sponsors of that series if you wish the names are there but please also keep in mind especially for international viewers the Guardian newspaper from the UK carries regular stories about geoengineering sponsored by the Gates Foundation so Harvard the Gates Foundation the Guardian David Keefe Scopex Spice it's all the same chapter in the same book so the good news coming out of Sweden, balloon test flight plan under fire over solar geoengineering fears. Swedish environmental groups warn test flight could be first step towards the adoption of a potentially dangerous, unpredictable and unmanageable technology. So that is really good news to hear that people are aware and they are speaking out. And it's even getting so far as to making it into the UK media so we know it's being spoken about. Good luck Sweden, keep up the good work. So following on from that good news, why we're here, taking some other news, how China is using a UAV to help change the weather. China is deploying an unmanned air vehicle to help generate rainfall in some of the nation's arid regions. China's first weather modification drone, Ganlin-1, made a successful maiden flight. This was the second week in January. Ganlin means sweet rain from the Urdu point. China puts large UAV into use for ecological protection. Entertainment news, celebrities and footballers have been flocking to Dubai. Here's why we should one day too. 
Even refreshing rain can be produced on cue through the process of cloud seeding. So everyone, you all need to be going to Dubai because they've got fake rain. In the Madisonian, it's quite an interesting read from this person. Montana politics have certainly not seen the last of Shaw. He plans to continue being involved in those things that became so important to him because he's retiring. Water, agriculture, cloud seeding, veteran affairs to name a few. Why would I step away? He asked. Take a look into that article. It's a house representative that's retired. Random science and technology article, new scientific discoveries made in 2020. Cloud seeding to produce snow. Yeah, okay. Just in case anyone's in doubt, it's a bit older than one year or so, 2020. Try 1940s. Might be a bit more on point. Help spread the word about the Scopex experiment in Sweden. Make sure people know that people are speaking out about it, trying to get it stopped, usual thing. Make sure people know that it, these types of experiment have been stopped in the UK and the USA over the last eight, nine years. So keep at it, Sweden. And you can always argue the case that Alaska is a similar environment to Sweden, it's near the North Pole or whatever they w reason they're giving. Good luck, see you next time.